I tested a bunch of AI video tools, and one of them is clearly the best. Nope, it's not VO3. I will show you the winner at the end of the video. I am checking out the top tools and some new ones. VO3, Meet Johnny, C-Dance, and Hilo 2. I made 10 different tasks, and I will give points to each tool based on how well it does. First challenge. Recreate the viral Olympic cats video. But this time we will pick a different animal. Let me show you how to do it in Hilo 2. Go to the site hiloai.video. Click on Sign up and you can use your Apple or Google account. And you will get 500 free credits just for signing up. Nice! That's enough for around 20 short videos, about 6 seconds each. Now, click text to video, write your prompt and hit generate. And honestly, the result looks super cool. Let's see how the other tools did on this same task. For each challenge, we will give scores from 4 to 1, and at the end, we will see which tool wins overall. In this round, Halo clearly did the best. Midjourney and C Dance, not great, and VO3 wasn't bad, even had sound, but the physics got kind of weird. Next up. Will Smith and Spaghetti. No AI video test is complete without this one. It's must. And this time I will show you how to do it in Cdance, one of the top AI tools out of China. They don't have public access on their main site yet, but you can test it through platforms like Tria AI or Fell AI. They are kind of like AI marketplaces where you can try out different models. I will use Crea AI for this demo. So, head to the site, sign up with your Google account. And to test AI video generators, you will need a paid plan. I went with a basic plan. That's enough for about 26 CDN's videos or just two VO3 videos, just to give you a sense of the pricing. So go to the video tab, choose the model CDN's, and then type your prompt. And that's about it. Not many settings. Hit generate. Well, yeah, it's a man eating spaghetti, sure, but not Will Smith. Still struggling with the numbers of fingers too. Let's check what the other models did with it. Halo AI kinda close, but the fork is all messed up. And VO3 and Mid Johnny, they just refuse to generate it at all. Let's try something a bit more cinematic with a camera movement. A little fox running through the forest. We're still testing text to video tools. Let's see how Mid Johnny handles this one. There is no free option here at all, so you will need a subscription no matter what. And also Midjourney doesn't let you generate videos directly from text. So we will do this in two steps. First, I will generate an image using the same prompt I used with the other video tools. And then we will animate it. You get four images. Just pick the one you like best. On the right hand panel, click Animate Image and choose High Motion. Then we wait. and. Wow, it looks amazing, like seriously good. And now let's compare with the other models. This fox actually turned out pretty great in almost all of them. Halo made the most realistic one, in my opinion. Mm, tough to score this round. I'm gonna go with my gut. My students loses points here. I really didn't like the way the video cuts are stitched together. Next challenge, image to video. We give the models a picture plus a prompt and see how well they follow what we ask. Let me show you how to do this in VO3. Head over to Google Labs, then click on create with a flow. Uh, yep, that's the secret spot where VO3 lives. They give you a free trial for one month and 1000 AI credits to play with. Start a new project and then choose frames to video. Upload your image and pick the video quality model. Just head up. It costs 100 credits per video compared to just 20 credits for a text to video. Type in your prompt and hit generate. And wow, it looks really good. Now let's see what the other models did. All of them did a solid job, but my favorite this time is Halo. Super smooth and clean. Midjourney looked less realistic to me. Now let's animate a movie like frame, a gorilla in grocery store. Me Johnny nailed it. Cool camera angle change and the people in the background are actually moving. Hello, uh, the banana turned into a wiggly worm and the people's faces got weird. And VO3 went full zombie mode. Just look at the background. Faces, walks, feels like casting for The Last of Us. Here is another image to video and this one is tricky. A cat is supposed to blow on a pot and it freezes into ice. 
We crushed it and even added sound. Just listen, it's really good. Midjourney did great too. Halo was okay, but somehow there is just a random plate instead of pot, and Sidance also missed the point, didn't really get the full prompt. Now let's try a product style task. If you are making cards for Amazon or your e-commerce site, this one is for you. At first glance, all models handled these ones pretty well, but let's take a closer look. Sidance gave us a shoe with a hole where the sole should be, and VO3 added some alien symbols on the product label. Next up, a super detailed prompt. Midjourney was clear winner here. Halo gave the animal a couple extra legs, and Sidence, the lion looks like a newbie YouTuber who forgot to flip the camera. And VO3 just broke completely. But hey, it had sound. Now let's try 360 degree video, like Insta360 style. Honestly, all of them did pretty well. VO3 impressed again with a sound, and honestly, I could believe this was a real person. Sidence was weakest here, looked like an old video game. And with a mid Johnny, I was a little worried about the girl snack. Now for a tricky one. A person looking at themselves in the mirror and then breaking the mirror. Halo crushed it. Super cool. Sidance just didn't break the mirror at all. And VO3 made the mirror act like it had a Wolverine's healing factor. So yeah, I got a clear winner. Halo. It scored the top spot in 6 out of 10 challenges. Surprisingly, Mid Johnny came in second. VL3, well, the name measures the rank, third place. And the biggest letdown, Sidans. I honestly thought it would do way better, especially after all those cherry picked clips we have seen online. But in real testing, that's wow effect just didn't show up. AI video generation has come a long way in just a few years from this to this. But right now it's still pretty expensive, the results are hit or miss, and it's not always easy to control. 